Good morning, Dark Orbit. This is Sub Zero. I'm back again with video number five on the Revive Dark Orbit series. And today we're going to be talking about the Ultimate Battle Arena. Now, this was initially the training arena. And at first, it was an excellent idea by Dark Orbit. Since they had got rid of Jackpot due to all the cheating, account sharing, and bug using that was going on, when they had to indefinitely suspend the Jackpot Arena. Um, my first training arena was. Sorry. My first training arena was rocks and boosters included. After training arena got a reboot as Ultimate Battle Arena. A few months after it was brought back into operation, it went from rocks and boosters to just boosters. And rocks no longer counted in the Ultimate Battle Arena. Now, this completely changed the way Ultimate Battle Arena worked. And the fact that you could no longer use rocks on your ship in the Ultimate Battle Arena means you had to change up your whole fighting style and your configurations. For said, for said matches. Um, in my view, and a lot of other people's view, training arena was better because the rocks did count. The only thing they needed to do with training arena before the game UBA was the um, size of the map. Now, currently, Dark Orbit has it set up where just the boosters count. Which to me is very stupid, since you seem to waste even more smart bombs and instas in those fights than you would in a real fight, since you're not hitting anywhere near as hard as you would in an open map. And considering a uh, fight in UBA has no bearing on how a fight would go with the same opponent in an open map uh, sequence. Now, one thing that has been abused in Ultimate Battle Arena is the script that designates who you fight based upon what your ship has instead of what your ship is currently running. Now, this guy, these two guys, all in con. have been cheating. All has won four back to back. Not because he's good, but simply because he would push in these two. And after pushing was reportedly repeatedly reported, he switched to using his goalie and taking off everything on his front side, his first side, and leaving everything on his second side. So when he jumped into UBA he jumped in on his first side, which was naked. And when I say naked, it was probably all base BO2s and LF4s, maybe LF3s. But this other side had upgraded LF4s and upgraded those 16 uh, shields. So the computer system would group him up with people that had the same equipment, but only with the same equipment that's on his first side and not his second. So Dark Orbit needs to change the script. Or rewrite the script so that this is no longer possible. Another thing going on with Ultimate Battle Arena is the double tank Aegis and Goalie and Citadel situation. I'm so sick of fighting a double tank cooldown Aegis in UBA. Any double tank ship it has shows nothing at all to do with skill and is increasingly infuriating to fight alone extremely wasteful in um, smart bombs, instas, and imps. Now another thing that they have in UBA that I'm sick of fighting is I'm jumping in with a precision targeter and I have to fight these assholes like Tear the Legend run an energy leech and battle rap bot and shit. If I'm not running anything but a precision targeter I shouldn't be fighting anybody that's not running anything more than, than a precision targeter. Everything that you jump in with in a match, on both sides of your ship should be matched up with anybody else fighting in a match on both sides of their ship. 
it shouldn't be a randomly associated pilot to jump in with you off the off the dark orbit server pool. Anybody you jump in with should be matched up evenly with the ship that you're currently using to fight in UBA. Now, I will show you exactly how easy it is to manipulate UBA. I'm going to switch to my peanut. One laser, one generator. These are the drones. It's so my first side. Notice I have demons on. This is the second. I left fours. I left threes. I don't know if anybody's even fighting in here. We got a match. Oh shit, I forgot to switch. Now you see that? You see how unbalanced this is? I jumped in with my ship on my second side. 
and that's LF4s and BO2s. This is my second side. The first side has nothing. So I jumped in on my second side with the UFE setup on a small ship, and it still gives me a fight with a goalie that has nothing on his ship. He doesn't even have whites. This game is so f it's unrealistic how glitched this this script is. It's unreal how easy to manipulate this game, especially in UBA. Let's see if I can give you guys another example. That's another thing. Why the hell does it move me when I come back from a match? All right, let's log out. Let's switch to something else. Let's switch to a, um, and for some reason I have 12 hangar halls now after I built two ships in the EIC, which doesn't make any sense. It's another glitch they gotta fix. Both have 10 favorites and I got 12 because it automatically added two into the favorite bar after they were built in the um, assembly. This makes no sense. The game is <sighs> messed up anyway. Let's, let's see let's see how bad this thing is game really is. I'm gonna put four LF four LF threes on, right? I'm not gonna put a rocket launcher on. Put on a few speed gins. Let's do the drones. do no drone designs. We'll just put some BO2s. And some LF2s. Now let's try the second side. The second side, I'm going to use LF4s. Oh, shit, I don't have any LF4s. I use a lot of them. You know what? Let's go to another ship. Let's go to the bastion. Nope. I guess this one. Surgeon. Yeah, 
here we go. So now I have an elite ship. Second side. Hold on. What did I do with the first side? <laughs> Speed. Speed. Six LF twos on. We got BO ones on the on the drones. Second side, all LF fours. Let's see. Let's put. So, first side. Oh, let me take this off. Almost forgot. This is the first side. My speed side, of twos, BO ones and of twos. Second side, LF fours, and BO ones and LF fours. Let's jump in and see what happens. All right, I got my button set up. We're just gonna use this ship since the hangar was implemented. Now, the second side has LF4s and BO1s. 227,000 shields in rank. First side, 151,000. Now, the system knows that I have X4s, RSB, SAB, You know I have 3030s, and I have all the types of hailstorms. I have smart bombs, instance imps, I have mines, 
One second. I also have almost every drone design. Now even knowing that, the system completely ignores this and only focuses on what I have on the first side. Remember, I have like seven lasers on this ship right now. So let's try UVA. On top of that, I have the three star. And I have a crown and I have the blizzard title. With full hurts. You see this? You see how stupid this is? Now we're going to try this again. What is the algorithm that you guys use for UBA? is ridiculous. There is no reason why I have six LF2s on my ship. I should be fighting somebody that has every LF4s on theirs. Let's go through this again. This is what's wrong with UBA. Everything you saw on the first sight with the peanut, and this fight that you see him having with my surgeon. It's completely unbalanced. And it makes no sense. Another problem with UBA is the reward. 500 Yuri for a fight. For the two fights, I get 500 Yuri. After spending probably about 3,000 Yuri on toys at least. You know, this is, this is really ridiculous. You guys need to fix all this. UBA is probably the worst thing you guys have right now in this game. And it was the best thing you had when you brought it out. Let's log out. Another bug that they have with UBA is the countdown. You notice after I won my fight that I got 25 seconds to heal. But after he won his fight and the second guy I fought, I only had 15 seconds. Now, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be 20, at least 25, 28 seconds between each fight after each loss. I've even had chances where I've, where I've lost. 
I had three seconds to heal my ship while my enemy is fully repped. I don't know why that bug is still in here after two years of training of UBA being out, but it's completely ridiculous. UBA is probably the most bugged event right now. It's probably as much bugged as Cormageddon used to be before people fucked it up and they had to get rid of it. For now, that's it, Dark Orbit. In my opinion, you guys really need to fix UBA. And by fix, I mean take it out of existence until all the bugs are taken out, including the countdown and how you guys match ships up in the UBA arena. Because it makes absolutely no sense why uh, a Goliath with six LF2s be fighting another goalie with full LF4s and BO2s upgraded. And then on the other hand, a peanut with one LF4 and the LF4s on his drone should be fighting a goalie that has, I don't even think that guy even had enough LF3s to max it on his ship, let alone his drones. He probably had BO1s. Makes absolutely no sense. You guys need to fix this. And for right now, that'll be it for my a revived Dark Orbit series. Video number six will be out soon, and I'll see you guys later.